Yes, this is Plus Sports on Plus TV Africa, and you're welcome back. Now, we've got a great Bayern Munich fan all the way from Germany to, this morning to talk to us about Bayern's long winning streak, eight Bundesliga titles in a row. And, um, you know, people have started calling it Bundesliga Bayern. Now, we've got Nico Gold now with us this morning to speak to us about Bayern's great exploits so far this season. Good morning, Nico. Good morning, all. Nice greetings yeah, good, from Berlin. Yeah, good morning. Guten Morgen, yeah. Exactly. All right, so, Nico, I mean, Bayern seem to be unbeatable in the Bundesliga. So, does it not get boring for the fans knowing that there is no stiff competition like we have <laughs> in the English Premier League and the La Liga? To be honest, winning will never get boring. Uh, and especially in the current season, we finished only third place after the first half. We had some issues with the coach and... In the Premier League, for example, Liverpool was first since the second game, I think, and they finished with over 20 points before uh, City, so there's a much more distance. Uh, it feels like for us, we have to work really hard every season to achieve our goal and win the league, and it's like every time we need to work hard and yeah, then we finish first. Yeah, I'm glad that you brought up, um, you brought up the name of a coach, and um, you know definitely you guys did work hard because at the start of the season things were not going smoothly with Nico Kovac, and then Hansi yeah. Flick did come in. I mean, did a great job. So when Hansi Flick came in, what did you guys expect? Did you think he was going to do a great job, or did you think he was just going to stabilize the team till the end of the season? Yeah, because he was so long also the assistant from the national team from. Uh, Germany, so we already knew the name, and he's really yeah, gone through many positions in football. He got so many things. He knows everything, like because he's uh, some older, and he can just get all his his vision into the players and stabilize the team. So, yeah, I think it was really important that an old coach like him got to us, and now Kovac tried to take his system, but it didn't work out, so we had to move on, and yeah, it really worked out. We were a bit suspicious in the beginning, but now everybody's just happy, and yeah, we hope we will see him a long time now as our coach. All right, great. Now, I, I need to say this now. Bayern actually did win the title with Grand Style. I mean, with uh, Robert Lewandowski, who scored 34 goals, and uh, Thomas Muller, who broke the assist record with 21 assists. I mean, looking at those caliber of players, everyone felt that probably Muller had had his best days behind him. And Lewandowski as well, who has now scored 40-plus goals for four seasons straight away. Do we now feel that Lewandowski needs to be in that bracket with Messi and Ronaldo? For me as a Bayern fan, yeah, for sure. And uh, he's a top scorer, scorer three times in a row now in the Bundesliga. He got the third most goals overall in the Bundesliga. Only Gerd Müller and one more, uh, the Bayern Munich legend, got more. So yeah, why not? I mean, Messi and Ronaldo are legends. So yeah, it's an era they always. Um, fight against each other, but now I think we need room for more players because there are so many good players out there and Lewandowski is one of them. He's so important for the team, like 34 goals in one season. It's really much and yeah, I hope he gets his chance because I think he deserves it for all his life and what he has done for football, not only for Bayern Munich, but especially for us. All right, so just before I let you go, I need to get your thoughts on um, the contract situations of Thiago Alcantara and um, also David Alaba. Both players have one year left on their contracts, um, yet to reach an agreement. We've heard rumors that probably Alcantara might move to Liverpool or, and also Alaba might move to Chelsea. I mean, those are two of your key players. They've been great servants for the club so far since they joined. Um, losing them will be a great loss, actually, to the team. So what are your thoughts on that? Would you like them to remain at Bayern, or do you think it's time for them to move on so that the likes of Joshua um, Zegzi will have more time the, for games, as well as Alfonso Davies? Um, so, as first, uh, I really like to give young players a chance, like Zegzi and... Alfonso Davies, they are really good players and I really loved seeing them play and our coach gave them the chance. But on the other hand, we also need experienced players and like Alaba is one of my favorite players uh, at Bayern Munich and he's, he can play left defender and also in central. Um, he, he can left winger maybe if you need him, so he's, he can play everything you want. He's really important for the team. He stayed so long 
So I really hope he stays. And also we need Thiago Alcantara because he got so many different play styles. We, we need someone who can like put the system into us and get the ball right to the best uh, positions, for example, to Robert Lewandowski. So I think it's really important we can hold him. Uh, at least we try. I don't know how much uh, what's behind. Uh, so how you can uh, fix the contracts because maybe they want too much money or I don't know, or they want to move on. But I think we should try everything to hold them and yeah, at least one or two years more. All right, great. So, I mean, fans have not been allowed in the stadium so far. So, how have Bayern fans been celebrating not being able to be at the stadium with the players, you know, doing the, the usual beer hug and the beer drinking and whatnot? So, in what other ways have Bayern fans been celebrating? So, for myself, I live in Berlin, so I can see every game, but I try as much as I can, for example, the away games against Hertha or Union Berlin. Um, and we got some fan clubs around all the country and so you can meet up and drink beer and sometimes we all move together to the Allianz Arena and yeah it's it's a really weird uh, atmosphere in the stadium and watch it at home without the sound or with fake sound but it's a pandemic so we have to respect it and hope all the best so we can support our club as soon as possible again in the stadium and yeah chant together. All right, great. Thank you so much, Nico, for joining us on the show this morning. Please do remain safe. Yes. Thank you very much. All the best. Wishes from Berlin. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.